everyone. So now we're going to show you a tutorial for the EP side from the registration until the realized. So I'm a new user uh, that landed on Opportunity Portal. I create a new um, account. I put in my email um, address, my uh, first name, my last name, password. I'm from Egypt and my LC is Isaac and Cairo University and I register. Um, I move to the sign up uh, form where I put on uh, my preferences so I want to volunteer abroad, um, preferably um, Hungary and I can add more uh, places. I want to work in a community development project. Um, I want to work in art, um, entrepreneurship and leadership and then you put your date of birth and next you move to setting your background so I studied agriculture I'm a graduate um, and I have previous volunteer experience so now um, I am on opportunity portal that's simply where I get to choose which program I want to uh, apply to or browse its opportunities so I go to GCDP um, I can search opportunities by keywords, I can search them by dates, uh, by durations, um, I have the process explained here, and you can also view the opportunities uh, on the right side uh, of the page. Um, so I'll apply for testing GCDP opportunity. I can view all the details um, of the opportunity here, and on the right side is the apply button, uh, which um, the MC in Egypt has said that all EPs that sign up have to pay before they can uh, apply. So um, until I'm marked um, that I have paid, I'll get a message uh, and my apply button would be uh, locked. Um, another very small uh, bug, which is that date of birth, you must be under 30, uh, which very simply when you log out and uh, log in, um, it is fixed. So um, I have to log out and um, log in GCDP testing GCDP opportunity and now that uh, my EP manager uh, Mila had said that I have paid um, before apply my button is unlocked and I can now apply for the opportunity are you sure yes I'm definitely sure um, and now I have applied on uh, Expa, uh, the TN manager, um, which surprisingly is Mila also, uh, gets, to, um, gets to see the applications that are there on the TN um, and my name appears uh, there. Once she reviews my application, uh, she can put my status on matched. I can track all my applications through this dash um, button. I can see that's my only application. Mila has changed my status to match, so I'm asked to sign the acceptance note. Press here. You see this um, very beautiful acceptance note. Um, you sign. And I agree. Um, and basically, as an EP, um, I now await for uh, the approval uh, from both the sending and hosting um, entities. Uh, so my EP manager um, has to check a box saying that they approve me being uh, unmatched um, and also uh, the TN manager um, gets that both the EP and the, the EP has signed the acceptance note and the EP has approved. They can review the acceptance note and then move my form to matched. So I refresh that. Um, I can already view my timeline. So as an EP I matched can see the timeline of the opportunity, I can set uh, my departure details, I can later on uh, put the first impression, see where I'm staying, uh, and my return details. Also on the right screen, um, I have the standards and uh, satisfaction uh, that I can see the progress with. Um, but then uh, I will still have a waiting for uh, approval. Uh, and would not be able to be put on realized uh, even by the TN manager um, because the MC in Egypt have said um, that EPs have another payment before they can get realized. 
Um, so meanwhile, my EP manager says that I can uh, that I have paid the realization fee. Then the TM manager is able to put uh, the form on realize, uh, which is happening uh, right now. And then once the form is um, on realize um, and the dates the starting date and the ending date of uh, the opportunity um, are reset or updated. You press realized as an EP, I refresh the page um, and I have, I'm realized, I can again view my timeline, edit uh, everything that is there um, and that's everything. Yeah. Thank you.